This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is the process of elongation in protein synthesis? Answer, elongation is the process in which an aminosyl tRNA binds to the site of the ribosome with the exception of the initiator methionine, which binds to the P site. This process requires an elongation factor and GTP and the rRNA or ribozyme catalyzes peptide bond formation and transfers the growing polypeptide to the amino acid in the site. Question, how does the ribosome advance during elongation? Answer, during elongation, the ribosome advances three nucleotides toward the three feet end of the Mr. Na, moving the peptidyl tRNA to the P site, a process known as translocation. Question, what is the ape mnemonic used to remember the role of the different sites in elongation? Answer, the mnemonic ape is used to remember the role of the different sites in elongation, a site equal equals incoming aminosyl tRNA, P site equals accommodates growing peptide, E site equals holds empty tRNA as it exits. Question, how are elongation factors targeted by bacterial toxins? Answer, elongation factors are targets of bacterial toxins, such as diphtheria and pseudomonas. These toxins can inhibit the activity of the elongation factors, disrupting protein synthesis and causing harm to the host organism. Question, what is the role of GTP in elongation? Answer, GTP plays a crucial role in the process of elongation by providing the energy required required for the binding of aminosyl tRNA to the site of the ribosome and the movement of the ribosome along the Mr. Na during translocation. Question, what is the role of rRNA in elongation? Answer, rRNA, also known as the ribozyme, plays a crucial role in elongation by catalyzing the formation of peptide bonds between the amino acids of the growing polypeptide. It also plays a role in transferring the growing polypeptide to the amino acid in the site. Question, what is the function of the site in elongation? Answer, the site in elongation is the binding site for incoming aminosyl tRNA. The amino acid from the tRNA is then added to the growing polypeptide chain, which is being synthesized on the ribosome. Question, what is the function of the P site in elongation? Answer, the P site in elongation is where the growing peptide is located. It also accommodates the tRNA that is carrying the next amino acid to be added to the growing peptide chain. Question, what is the function of the E site in elongation? Answer, the E site and elongation is where the empty tRNA exits the ribosome after the amino acid it carried has been added to the growing peptide chain. It also allows the ribosome to move along the Mr. Na during translocation. Question, what is the role of elongation factors in protein synthesis? Answer, elongation factors are proteins that assist the ribosome during the elongation phase of protein synthesis. They help in the binding of aminosyl tRNA to the site and in the movement of the ribosome along the Mr. Na during translocation. Elongation factors also help in the correct positioning of the tRNAs in the A, P, and E sites. Question, what are some examples of bacterial toxins that target elongation factors? Some examples of bacterial toxins that target elongation factors include diphtheria toxin and pseudomonas exoticsin. These toxins inhibit the activity of elongation factors, disrupting protein synthesis and causing harm to the host organism. Question, how does the inhibition of elongation factors by bacterial toxins affect protein synthesis? Answer, the inhibition of elongation factors by bacterial toxins can severely disrupt protein synthesis without the proper function of elongation factors the ribosome cannot properly bind tRNA, form peptide bonds, or move along the Mr. Na. This results in the production of non-functional or incomplete proteins, leading to cell dysfunction and death. Question, how does the process of elongation differ for the initiator methionine tRNA? Answer, the process of elongation is slightly different for the initiator methionine tRNA. Instead of binding to the site, the initiator methionine tRNA binds to the P site, where the growing peptide chain is located. This is because the initiator methionine is the first amino acid to be added to the peptide chain and does not require a peptide bond to be formed. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.